So at the, at the bricklaying course, it can lead to employment, higher education, apprenticeships, those type of things. The vocational side of it, what we are giving them is more of an insight into construction, into the building trade, something that they wouldn't get from um, A-levels, etc. So what we do, we, te we teach the learners the very basics, hand, hand skills, uh, trowel skills, and, and then we develop those for small walls, from small cavity walls, and then they go into solid wall and like English bonds, Flemish bonds, those type of things. Uh, leading out to go out into the real world to start working on cavity walls, new builds, etc., and repair work as well. We're looking at giving them a good skill set, confidence, um, teaching them about timekeeping them, getting them ready for employment. There's a couple of local companies that um, work with a lot of our learners uh, who, we, who progress out of it for employment. There's one company in particular that employs eight learners. It's good being a student here, it's a laid back atmosphere, good lecturers, good location. I chose this subject because I was a regional electrician, I got laid off and I started working with my uncle who was a bricklayer and found I enjoyed it more than an electrician. Uh, it's mainly practical, the course. It's uh, part theory, uh, but mainly it's practical assessments and training jobs for uh, similar to the jobs you do on site. Uh, working on site helps a lot. It, it improves with speed. You know, the more you do on site, I think you can improve your speed here and get the jobs done quicker. Uh, my next steps after college, once I finish the course, would be to become a full-time bricklayer on site. I started my story at NWSLC.